What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be all about fine hair. We're going to do a layered haircut that's catered to fine hair and I want to talk a lot about different angles that I use to create still some weight in a haircut so you don't remove too much but also still gives it life and volume. Also Paul Mitchell sent me a brand new Express Ion Unclipped Iron. This is a limited edition color so I'm going to use that to style this at the end. We're going to create a ton of volume and I think you guys are really going to like this end result. Actually, let me show you what it looks like right now. So here is the cut that we're going to be going over today. You can see it's got a ton of volume. We use the unclipped iron to create this style. Hope you guys like it. Hope you're excited about this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to start off the video parting on the right hand side. If your guest parts on a different side, then just part it on the opposite and mimic what I'm doing. Um, then we take it from the high point of the head down to behind the ear. We call that the division point. So we're separating the front and the back. I also put a little ponytail on the back, which holds uh, a good amount of tension so that when I'm cutting the front of the hair, I'm never pulling any of that back hair into it. So we're going to focus on that first. So we start off, I want to show you guys, this is really going over the different angles of the head. So what I like to do is find 90 degrees first, then I can understand where zero degrees is. So you see coming straight off the head shape, as we move back to the back of the head, the angles change. I'm also gonna be using the DB20 scissor from Mizutani. It's my favorite scissor that they make. Um, it has that little finger groove in it, and it also has a really nice solid tang, and it's got the ball bearing screw and nano powder metal steel. So this is a top quality scissor. Really love using it. You can get it on freesaloneducation.com if you would like to. We actually have uh, uh, deals on money off on that going on as well. Okay, so to start the haircut, I do a diagonal forward parting. I overdirect it out. I keep it at zero degrees. So if you think about where 90 is, which I showed you with the comb, I keep that at a zero degree angle, which gives me a nice, still heavy feel, but it's not too heavy. We actually did this in um, a video, a few videos ago, we went through and we did the perfect face frame. Well, this is perfect for fine hair. So I go through, I'm not only creating a face frame, but I'm creating layering throughout the whole cut. So because I'm over directing the hair from further and further back, I bring that over and I'm actually pushing that weight to the back of the head. So keeping it nice and heavy, right around where it would normally be weaker. Um, so if you think about people with fine hair, it gets weaker right around the temple area because they only have so much hair in there. In the back, it's a little bit heavier. So what I'm doing is I'm overdirecting everything forward in front of the face, and that's pushing that weight behind the right around where the ear sits. And then obviously the heaviest point is in the back of the head. So I just keep bringing everything over and cutting it at zero degrees. You'll notice my elevation goes up a little bit as I move back on the head shape. Um, that's just because the head shape is shifting and changing. Also notice my finger angle when I get to the side of the head, I drop my hand down because I'm coming straight off the side. So because that head shape is shifting and moving, I'm always changing where my finger uh, angle is. So continuing through the top, um, just pulling everything over. Same thing in the sides, bringing it over to me. That's cutting not a super heavy face frame, but a nice soft uh, face frame with just a little bit of weight. Now on the weak side, which is the side that we part on, she doesn't have as much hair. She doesn't have as much density. So what I like to do is keep the elevation nice and low and also kind of scoop out with my fingers. So you'll notice I kind of shift my palm up and cut in there and create that line as opposed to over directing it really far or over layering it because I really want a little bit extra weight sitting on the weak side. So I'll work my way through there, can staying consistent with my partings, basically working with vertical partings at this point and bringing everything over to a stationary guide. Cool thing about this haircut is that it started with a stationary guide in the first section, then we create a stationary guide in the second, and now we're gonna create another stationary guide right behind the right ear, and I'm gonna bring everything to that. I'm also gonna use a little point cutting. I like to do point cutting in fine hair because I feel like it softens it a little bit, um, and you don't see as much of the lines in there. Point cutting is great on thick hair as well, but I just like the texture and that's kind of what this haircut is all about in the end. So I keep that stationary guide. I over direct everything to right behind the ear. And then what that's going to do is push the weight to the center of the head. So it's almost creating that V shape 
in the back of the head. So going through, point cutting, keep over directing, taking vertical sections, and I go all the way over to the other side of the head or as long as you're getting hair that's still going past your guideline. So just keep working your way across the back of the head, uh, over directing it over until you run out of hair. Then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So you see I'm kind of grabbing more and more. There's still hair to cut, but not a whole lot, and I keep working my way over. Now what this is going to do is kind of crisscross it as well. We've done this on past techniques. Um, okay, so this is also an important part. This is how we find our guideline, how we make sure that both sides are even. Um, I pull a little piece of hair up, and um, I use that as my guideline, and I cut a horizontal line across the top. I take a nice thin section, though. You don't want to take too much hair in there, because if you take too much hair, um, then you're going to change. You're, you're over-elevating it. Uh, what I want to do is just bring it all over. So I use that little piece as my guide, and now I cut the same way, bringing it to the left ear uh, on the opposite side. And again, taking all of the hair and pushing it to the sides behind the ear is just over-directing it and then allowing the weight to kind of collect in the very center of the head shape. Still layered, but definitely longer into the back, which gives it a nice flow, gives it a lot of movement, and really a cool shape to the haircut. So the other thing I want you to notice is that I'm always cutting from short to long, so from interior to the outer perimeter. So uh, I was combing away, kind of pushing the hair away from myself. That's a good thing to do when you're trying to stay consistent with how you're combing and how you're cutting. Now I use the Paul Mitchell, um, this is the volume whip. I wanted to create volume in the hairstyle, so I put that in. I use quite a bit of it, about four or five pumps of it. And then I go in with the new Neuro Halo Dryer, um, and I just do a power dry with the um, blow dryer. Then I go in with my Ergo Paddle Brush, and I brush through the, the uh, style. What this is going to do for me, I, I do the air drying or like the hand drying to give a little bit of volume, a little bit of, it's more of a salon kind of reality technique to me is just getting some of that moisture out of the hair. Then I go through with the Ergo paddle brush and I polish the hair a little bit. Then um, this is a, a, another thing that Paul Mitchell sent me. It's their promotional thing. I love Hot Off the Press. That's been around for quite a while, but um, I'm going to use that before I do my iron work. So I blow dry the hair, get it nice and smooth. It's about 90% dry. Then usually what I'll do is spray Hot Off the Press on, finish the other 10% of the drying. Then I section out the hair and we're going to go through it and we're going to iron it using the new Express Ion uh, Unclipped. This thing, um, all of the, these tools unclip and they, uh, they detach, and you can add different attachments to it. And they keep coming out with more and more attachments, so it's kind of cool. You can just kind of collect them and use them for all the different styles that you guys are working on. So we get my sectioning through. This particular kit, this is a promotional kit. I'm guessing it's a limited edition. Um, you can pick it up, and you get three different wands with it, and also the brush. So that's what we're going to use to style today. And a little trick here, I learned this from my friend Ryan Belmonte, who is a Paul Mitchell educator. He just um, taught a class on our YouTube channel, and he gave this tip, which was holding the wand upside down. So more gripping it like this, as opposed to keeping your elbow up and then wrapping the hair around. Especially if you're working on it at home and you want to wrap your hair, it's just a lot easier to hold it this way, uh, like a pencil, as opposed to holding it in your hand this way. So I just continue, I take small, about one inch uh, square sections out of the hair and I wrap them around the iron and I just work my way through the whole head, um, really wrapping everything back. So, and in the same direction. So I, I work my way up the head shape. I want that kind of loose lived in curl. I keep everything nice and tight. Another little tip when you're doing this is to make sure that when you wrap the hair in the iron, you don't really stretch it yet. Let it cool, let it set, and then at the very end, we're going to run our hands through it and break it up. Obviously, th the most current style is not to leave these kind of spiral curls in there. So we'll go in and break it up with some texture spray at the very end. Again, see how I'm gripping uh, the iron? I'm definitely, uh, it's, a, it's a new technique for me, but I really enjoy it because it keeps me comfortable. We talk about it all the time in hair cutting and everything else. Just keeping that elbow in a good position so you're not always up like this. It's just, you know, really working with the longevity of you as a hairdresser, uh, making sure that you're, you know, doing things properly. 
When I curl it with the wand in the very front, this is that face frame that we created. So I took diagonal forward sections and then just curled it in the way that it was gonna live. I didn't fight the grain of the hair. I wasn't trying to create a bunch of volume that way because uh, this is a little bit of a tighter wand anyway. So it was popping up, it's, it's gonna create a lot of volume. So you can see, I just kind of curl it away from the face uh, and back. Last little curl here. Then I'm gonna go in, I'm using the Invisible Wear un Undone Texture Hairspray. Uh, this is a really cool product because it's very light. Like it's, it's almost like just building up volume and uh, creating style, but not a lot of hold. So if you want something with hold, use something stronger. This I just spray in and just keep kind of overlaying it. And you can see how the shape just keeps expanding, um, which is really awesome. And that's when we talk about fine hair, that's what we're looking for is a haircut that kind of matches up with and then you obviously have your product choices and you expand that shape out. I hope you guys like this cut. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, also, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. Also, hit that bell down below. That will give you an alert. Anytime we go live on this channel, we're doing live classes every week. And also, um, anytime we post a video, you'll get an alert about that as well. Any of the tools that you saw on this video, if you'd like to purchase them, go to freesaloneducation.com. Uh, we have deals going on, so you can get really great deals on the scissors, combs, clips, all that stuff. So if you're looking to upgrade your tools, go to freesaloneducation.com. Plus, we have tons and tons, over 700 uh, instructional videos for free on there. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the FSE community. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.